This is Charity and welcome back to Westfall Stories, a Sims 4 series based on a challenge I created called the Ghost Town Challenge. Now a link for the rules for this challenge will be in the, in the description below as well as a playlist for all of the videos in the series. We rejoin Eve Westfall for the newest generation in the series. Okay, so one of the first things that Eve needs to do is get over being sad because unfortunately, because her parents passed away while she was a baby, as soon as she ages up to a toddler, she has the loss in the family moodlet, which is not what we want. So sometimes if you cry, your caregivers will come and comfort you. But unfortunately, it seems like that's not happening right now. Oh, she wants to play. That's another thing that I don't, I don't understand is that sometimes they'll ask for comfort and sometimes they'll ask to play. Asking to play doesn't make any sense. Maybe because she wasn't a caregiver. Okay, so I have adopted her as a caregiver for Piper and for Rashad. Oh, and now she asks for food. The one good thing about being put in the high chair is that it gives you three up arrows for sleeping. Oh no, Sam is dying. He's passing away due to old age. Now all the toddlers are going to be super sad. Hopefully Eve will not get super sad because I don't think she even knows Sam. Oh, okay. So she knows Sam just because she's in the household. Yeah, stuck inside. Okay, let me out. And she asks to play again. Why won't you ask for comfort? You should be able to specify what you're asking the adult for, but you can't. Okay, now that you've played, can you ask for something else? Okay, why did you put me in the high chair? Okay, now she's asking for comfort. And she's in the high chair, so she's not going to get it. Okay, this is stupid. Okay, maybe if I leave the room with the high chairs, <laughs> I can actually request comfort and get it. Oh, and the Sims team said they fixed that bug with the toddler steps? No. See, it's still there. I don't know how many times that bug has been reported as fixed, and it's just not fixed. I may just have to wait for this moodlet to go away in two days before I can even start building skills. Oh, and she's asking to play again. Well, we can at least ask to go potty because the need is now yellow. Oh, shaking, shaking. Was that an earthquake? Okay, it's also raining. Finally, she got a hug. And that still didn't help. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to go to sleep. Okay, watching a caregiver is fun, so I can actually gain a little bit of thinking skill when her fun is low. Of course, and then she asks to play, and that gets her fun up much faster. And she wants a hug. But of course, for some reason, getting a hug is not comfort. Oh, he's only doing the hug interaction, not the comfort interaction. And she doesn't like it anyway. And she asked for a hug. Watching an adult actually doesn't get the fun up enough to keep it from going red. So you can continue to build thinking skill as long as your fun is low. I think if I imitate the cats, it also gives her attention and thinking. Or is it creativity? I always forget. Fun, attention, and creativity. The only problem is, is that it's too fun. Well, movement skill is really easy to build. Okay, Riley maxed two skills. So that means we get to remove two lot challenges. I'm going to go with Cursed and Simple Living just because that will allow them to cook their own food. And it will also allow them to cook birthday cakes. Oh, finally, she's gotten rid of all of her sad moodlets. Now she just needs a bath. The butler is available. Oh, Zayden got level 5 in Imagination, so I can remove Grotty. And Eve has maxed her first skill, which is Potty. So I am going to remove Volcanic Activity. Okay, and Eve has mastered the thinking skill. Let's get rid of Quake Zone. I think off the grid is annoying, but unfortunately that's the lot trait that Eve needs to keep. Oh, and there's communication level 5. We'll get rid of creepy crawlies. Or no, actually we'll get rid of spooky. For some reason, spooky affects toddlers. And there's level 5 imagination. Now we can get rid of creepy crawlies. Dulce has reached level 5 movement. I guess we'll get rid of reduce and recycle. Hey Hector, I feel like trying something new and exciting. Okay, switching careers. Why would you ask a toddler? But I guess he's going to ask the toddler. Because I think that's his dad. So weird. Okay, Josie aged up. So what should all of the brothers and sisters be? Probably neat. And their aspiration really doesn't matter. 
I totally forgot that Christopher was the oldest, but somehow they exchange places by me allowing them to age up without a birthday cake. So Josie is now the oldest. So I've decided that I'm going to replace the toddlers with babies, even though that's not a requirement to replace them until they're aging out as teenagers. But I want to spread them out a little bit because all of their birthdays are on the same day. So I'm going to replace the first few with a baby. Penelope is the daughter of Piper and Rashad. So they will also have children, but for the for the story, they won't be considered heirs. So I will not be controlling them. Okay, the only thing Eve needs to complete is movement, and then she will be good to go for being a child. I'm actually going to wait until it's her birthday. Oh, Ellie reached movement level 5, and Dulce reached imagination level 5. Or did I already do that one? Yeah, apparently a bunch of them maxed out their skills when I wasn't paying attention, so I'm going to just clear all of the challenges now except for off the grid. And Eve has reached movement level 5, so now she can just pretty much do whatever she wants until her birthday. Although I will want to keep her needs maxed when it gets closer to her birthday. So her birthday is not until Sunday, and then she will age up automatically on Monday. So starting with Sunday, I will watch her energy and make sure that her energy is completely maxed out. So Sam is Josie's twin. I will age him up next. And I'm going to wait to have another baby because I want the babies spread out as much as possible. So I only have to have a toddler when Josie actually gets to the point where she needs to move out. And then Sam would be the next one. So Christopher aged up. Oh no, and now all of the rest of them are starting to age up. So since Eve finished all of her skills, it became pretty boring just watching the days go by. So to catch you all up, all of the toddlers have aged up and are now children. And the one baby, Penelope, has aged up into a toddler. And then for some reason, we had two kittens, Toonses and Gracie. So we have a few little additions to the family. I don't know why, but Ruby got pregnant. So she's supposed to be an elder, but she's still an adult. However, asparagus did become an elder, so we won't have very much time left with asparagus, but we do have two brand new kittens. And it is now time for Eve to have her birthday party. And here, there she goes, she blows out the candles. And now our heir is going to become a child. Okay, she was clingy. Now she's going to be a child of the islands and a social butterfly. And of course, we have to give her a makeover. And now we start Eve's aspiration and goals as a child sim. Oh, and of course, Piper is always mean. So Eve is going to join an after school activity and she's going to join the drama club. Gone into labor? That's not possible. Asparagus is an elder. What do you mean asparagus has gone into labor? Congratulations, a kitten is born. Asparagus just gave birth to a kitten. What would you like to call him? Okay, I guess elders can have kittens in The Sims. Cinnamon. Oh, okay, another one. And cupcake. A third one. Okay, cashew. All right, we now have five kittens. That's way too many kittens. Okay, so now we need to make a best friend. Gone into labor again? Ruby, this is your third litter of kittens. Oh, I'm going to have way too many kittens. I took the cats from Kaylin's generation because I didn't want them to be left alone with the vampire. And now I have so many kittens I don't know what to do with. I guess this is going to be the curse of the Westfall legacy is to take care of all of these cats until they stop having kittens. Okay, and Gracie is now an adult cat. And we have more kittens. Myrtle and Burger. Okay, and Ruby has finally become an elder. But as we have seen, that does not mean anything. Toons is aged up into an adult cat. Oh, and now Piper has gone into labor. And Eve becomes best friends forever with Ellie. Okay, Piper is having her baby now. And it's a boy, Ronan. Dino is now an elder. Yeah, all of Caitlin's cats are actually becoming elders now, so maybe we won't have so many cats then. Okay, and our social butterfly has achieved her childhood aspiration. And Bobby has aged up now. That means all of Caitlin's cats are now elders. Asparagus has gone into labor again? Oh, Asparagus, you decided to have kittens when you were an elder. You had no kittens when you were an adult. I don't understand this. Oh, well. Congratulations, a kitten is born. Okay, Asparagus. Chester. And Butter. Rashad aged up. Oh, so Piper's husband is now an elder. I didn't realize he was getting that old. 
Ronan aged up. Okay, so now we have two toddlers. Oh, the cats do play with the balls. I didn't think they did. So Eve is now a B student, and we didn't even have to do any homework to get there. Chester aged up. Okay, Piper's going into labor, so we're going to have another baby. Butter aged up into an adult. So Christy Westfall is the third child. What? Ruby has gone into labor. Um... But Ruby is not even here. She's run away. She's missing. So I don't know how that's going to turn out. Uh, what? Gracie and Cashew went into labor? How many kittens am I going to have to deal with? Just look at all the cats. The only thing good about cats in The Sims is that they pretty much take care of themselves. As long as you get them one of these litter boxes that automatically takes care of the poo. And these feeder bowls that you have to fill every once in a while. Congratulations, the kitten is born. So Gracie has Daisy and romeo and cashew has ruby oh we have we can't have two rubies okay moki and kitty okay ruby did not come back and it looks like she's not in labor because i don't see her uncomfortable right now so maybe we won't have her kittens ruby has returned what ruby gave birth to a kitten sweetie and chandler i, I was really hoping that she wouldn't have those kittens i have 19 cats in this household and hopefully some of the elders start moving on because they keep having kittens and they're not supposed to be able to have kittens when they're an elder so asparagus is an elder and is probably going to be the first to go if she does not get pregnant again with more kittens because that stops them from passing on from old age is if, if they're pregnant they they will not pass on okay so eve got kicked out of drama club but it looks like she's still there okay there we go so that didn't even give her a lot of fame i think that is bugged because she supposedly gained a lot of fame but no her fame looks like it's gone down because she actually had fame from being a one-star celebrity due to her mother being a global superstar and being in the drama club doesn't even keep your fame from decaying at least when she rejoins, she can be level 3 and not have to start all over at level 1. Penelope aged up. So Piper's first daughter is now a child. And of course, the butler started a fire. Oh no, Asparagus has passed away due to old age. And Piper is having her next baby, Maurice. So that's four children. And Josie is about to age up. So I think we're going to have to have multiples next time because we need to have eight children by the time the last one moves out. And there's only one more day, okay. So that means we're just going to have all four at once, I suppose. Actually, let's just have another one now, and then when, when all of the children move out, we'll have to have the last set as a set of three, which is going to be rough. Okay, each time I do one of these, she gets dismissed from the drama club and really doesn't gain any fame. But we're still going to upstage the teacher. Okay, this time I did not get dismissed from drama club. Okay, and Piper's second baby is born, and that will be... Oh, I don't want to name a girl Alex. That will confuse me. How about Alexa? So the last set is going to have to be triplets. And of course, as soon as I get over Asparagus' death, Dino dies. That's one bad thing about having all these cats, is that unfortunately, they do not live as long as Sims, and we're going to have a lot of sad kids all the time. Death, where did you go? Come back here. Is he going upstairs? Okay. He's going upstairs to complain about the furniture. That's, oh no, he's, he's happy about the furniture. They really need to make it so that death does not have any preference to decor. In fact, maybe I can change that. No, of course. I do not get an MC command center button for death. Great. And there goes Ruby. Oh, well, at least this one won't make her more sad. She'll just be the same amount of sad. Now he's reading a book. Okay, Grim, go do your job. So one of Eve's half-siblings, Josie, it wants nothing more than to be a spellcaster when she grows up. And Eve isn't so sure about spellcasters because her parents died of an overload. So they don't get along too well. As you can see, they're basically enemies. But Josie is about to age up into a teenager, and so she will be leaving the house. Josie aged up. Since she's the oldest, she actually doesn't like kids. And that's another reason why Eve and Josie don't get along. And she wants to have a deep knowledge of the arcane magical arts. So Eve's first half-sister, 
is going to move out now. Oh no, the caps are not related enough to stop them from mating with each other. That's bad. Apparently Cupcake and Daisy are not close enough to stop them from mating from each other. Oh, and Bobby has now died. And we're back to being sad. And Sam aged up. So he's going to move out as well. Okay, so Christopher aged up. Now, Christopher is not technically Kaylin's son because he's the son of Yukata and senior pollination technician. So he's actually going to move into his own household and have his own life. And he won't be part of the ghost town. And all of the other children are starting to age up. So Zayden is going to follow his brother because Zayden is also a child of Yukata and senior pollination technician. Okay, and because all eight of Eve's siblings are grown up and moved out, that means we have to fix the problem of not having enough toddlers. Okay, Amber is born, and Kaylee and Emmanuel. Ronan aged up, so I guess he's a child now. Gracie has gone into labor, so I guess we're going to have more kittens. Whisper, Westfall. Gracie has Whisper. And Sam, we already have a Sam. Bentley. I don't want duplicate names among these cats, but I'm going to forget one of these times. Okay, and Eve is an A student. And all three of the triplets have aged up. So it's time for Eve to become a teen. Eve is going to be romantic, and she wants to be a super parent. Alright, I'm sorry for all of the clips. I know it was very brief and not a lot happened as far as gameplay for this episode, but I felt that this time around I was doing the same thing that I had done before. So I was in a hurry to get to the next stage of Eve's life, and so the next episode will be a lot better. Also, I made a mistake. Eve is not supposed to be romantic. She's supposed to be a maker. Because of the rules, the romantic sims have to follow the hungry for love lifestyle, and that's just not who Eve is. So she's going to be a maker, and in the next episode she will be moving out and renouncing spellcasting and switching to a mermaid. So see you next time. Thanks for watching.